Okay, now let's do a uh, shoulder lock um, from the sit through position. So we're here in the, the fang guard, I open it up here and throw my leg over. And again, he posts, so I get my hips up, point my toes down at the mat, and then I want to extend it out. So right here, instead of going for the shoulder lock um, where I'm grabbing that elbow, He's going to try to counter to sit through, so he sits to his hip. And so what's really common right here is they'll try to get over that foot and clear the foot this way. Okay. So what I want to do is he brings that back, I'm bringing my toes toward his back and I want to bring my left foot in as he's going back. So he brings it back here and I want to feed it to the other side here and then come up. So my toes are curling so now I can't bring that that arm back, and I'm just gonna hip out just a little bit onto my left hip, so that allows me access to that wrist. So I wanna come up, I'm gonna focus on getting that sleeve, and I wanna pull the wrist to his opposite shoulder here. So as I do that, I can kinda get my hips up until I get the tap. Okay, let's try that at a different angle. So again, get to my pin guard position here. So, they're posting, bringing my hips up, toes pointed down, bringing on the inside of the armpit, I straighten that out. So, the opponent sits to the hip here, and they're gonna try to bring that arm back. So, I'm following it with my right foot, and my left foot's coming in. So, they're trying to bring it back to clear it, and then I capture it with my left foot. So, I wanna, Curl those toes so they can't bring it back over. If he does, I can just straighten out a little bit so it's stuck. And now I want to hip out. So I want to get access to that wrist. So I can bring my foot down, hip out a little bit, and then I'm going to grab the wrist here. So I can grab the sleeve, try to take that sleeve, I'm going to bring it to his far shoulder here. So I'm here and I bring it in. I can get my hips in until I get the tap. 